A 48-state, four-year ride for addiction recovery awareness. Each day, we pedal for somebody who's passed away from addiction, and the whole end goal is to build a rehab. And this is state number five, Wyoming, on the ride to Ragbri 2022. A 4,500-ish mile loop around the Midwest, Ohio to Erie Trail, Michigan's Upper Peninsula, west of Glacier National Park, uh, <laughs> south of Yellowstone, east of Ragbri the last week of July, just right past Devil's Tower. And it's all to raise awareness that addiction recovery options are available. That you don't have to die in your addiction. There's churches, celebrate recoveries and rescue missions all over the nation, all over the world, that just want to help you, talk to you, and love you if you find yourself battling addiction. So, so. we're here at Devil's Tower. We had a zero yesterday. You did 63 yeah. miles the day before yesterday. I was tired. Yeah, we were both tired. We got in, I set up the tent, he found, he went and played putt-putt, did all kinds of stuff, met all kinds of friends, and I was too tired to work on the video, so I did all that last night instead. We took a zero, we played putt-putt, we ate food. They don't have a pool here, we, but other than that, we did a lot of nothing. This is um, the biggest pixie stick I've seen. That's a pretty big pixie stick. There's a bigger one. Too much sugar will ruin you though, bud. We gotta work that sugar off on these rides. Either way, uh, we're headed 27 miles today, and that's going to be to a campground, a U.S. Forest Service campground, uh, midway between here and Spearfish, South Dakota, state number 38. We'll roll into South Dakota tomorrow, Lord willing, and uh, yeah, it's going to be a hot day today. We're getting out pretty late. I started packing. I slept super late. I think we slept till like 9 o'clock, yeah. 8.44, uh, and then now we're... Um, yeah, we're finally packed up, done, showered, ready to go, get on the bikes. Uh, got plenty of water, plenty of sunscreen. Oh, you need to put sunscreen on. Mm. And uh, yeah, we're going to get on the road into this heat, eat some food. I uh, think that we're not going to have much food after this little town up here in about 10 miles. So we're going to stop there, eat, maybe even like rest and um, get out of the, the hot part of the day for a little bit. Just kind of break the day up into two little rides. We'll see. Either way, you ready, bud? Uh, yep. All right, let's do this. All right, so we just came out of the KOA um, cafe, and we go up to get some postcards for the family. And um, Lonnie uh, comes, and we ask if we can get cash back. He says, no, there's an ATM. But um, so we, uh, so he comes over and gets cash out, $20 um, for a donation. It was pretty cool. I'm actually trying to get cash out so that we can go up um, this campsite that we're going to stay at. It's $14, and I don't have any cash money on me. And so I was going to get cash out there at the ATM or at the uh, cash bag. I didn't want to pay an ATM fee. And Lonnie there at the uh -huh. register, I was like, we'll just stop at the next door. And uh, I think it was his wife there at the uh, register with him. Uh, she said, we're believers. We see Galatians 2.20. They took pictures of our uh, kit. And uh, at the end of it, he said, here, walk with me. And so walked over to the ATM and gave us a 20. Thank you so much, Lonnie. We've had several donations here at the KOA uh, that Liam has like. Three yeah, so far? Three, three different people have donated. So it was 20, 10, 20. $50 total. We're finally going to get on the road now and try and beat this heat. You ready? Yep. Let's go. partner from Wyoming <laughs> oh look at the old bucking bronco there
All right, so we just stopped here at the Hullet or Hewlett Motel uh, and had a great huckleberry shake. Look at these flowers. It's absolutely gorgeous. Um, we went to uh, the grocery store, which is right across the street, the corner market, and we have completely stocked up. Uh, other than Aladdin tomorrow, we're pretty much, we're not going to have anything between here and Spearfish, which is about 50 more miles, and we're stopping 16 more miles into today. Uh, so I hope I've got everything that we need, <laughs> and uh, we're going to roll with it and see how it goes. How you feeling, bud? Great. You ready for a hot afternoon ride? Yeah, me either. I don't think anybody's ever ready for a hot afternoon ride. So. Either way, we got to do it, and you'll see more of that. So we've been climbing this hill and we pulled out to the scenic overlook, which is the Devil's Tower overlook, uh, which is right back there. And so Liam and I, you know, we were climbing this hill uh, and it was a struggle. There were some cows that were running off and we had to stop halfway through. And I was telling Liam a lot about perseverance and how, you know, we just kind of got to keep on pushing through uh, these hills. They're not going to kill us, uh, but, well, you know, it'll make you stronger. So, just giving him encouragement and a pep talk, and uh, lo and behold, we got right here to the top of this hill, and there was a car park. That was the lady that was pulling off. Her name was Penny, uh, and she had lost her son uh, to alcoholism, and so we'll be riding, riding for him uh, in about five days or so, uh, but that timing was perfect. They even <laughs> said it. What, how cool was that, buddy? It was pretty cool. What would you think about what Penny had to say? Very nice. Yeah, it sounds like Howard was a cool guy, doesn't it? We hate to lose friends, and that's why we're out here doing what we're doing, uh, to get the awareness out there that addiction recovery options are available. Um, at the end of that conversation, Penny ended up handing us $20. Thank you very much again, Penny. Are you ready to go hit this downhill truck sign right here? We have to hit it? We have to hit it. We're going to go just like, wham. <laughs> That's gonna hurt. Let's go. Good job. You hit it.
Tell them about it, Liam. We just had a, the biggest coast up that I've had before. We saw the cut, cut, um, cut thing, cut rock, and we were like, that means downhill. So, cycled up to the Black Hills National Forest. Up in somewhere down here, I don't even know where. It looks beautiful. There's nobody here. Good job, buddy. I'm proud of you today. Well done. All right, so man, what a climb today. It was just crazy. I ended up walking my bike that last mile. You rode yours. Incredible, incredible. Uh, we met one other couple this evening over at the, um, uh, the other campsite, and they said they're gonna cook breakfast for us in the morning, which sounds pretty cool. Their names are Brad and Catherine. What do you think about that? It's pretty cool. What do you? What kind of breakfast do you think they're gonna make? Uh, I, they said something about eggs or something. Eggs would be good. Eggs would be good, considering that all we've got is PB and J. That's gonna be quite <laughs> nice. So. I'm gonna start a fire. Yeah, Liam's gonna start a fire. I'm exhausted. I've got to get some sleep. Um, that was a big climb. Big, big, big day today. Uh, tomorrow. Looks like we're going to try to head down into Aladdin and then over to Spearfish. Uh, and it does look like rain is moving in, so hopefully we can beat it. But we're going to end the video here for the day. So if you know anybody who's passed away from addiction in any form or fashion, please drop their name in the comments or find me through the Papa link in the description. Uh, and we would love to ride for your person and celebrate their life with you for a day. If you know anybody who's actively addicted, anybody in general, share this with them. Thank you so much, Get Wrecked for Recovery Crew, every one of you that is liking every video, commenting on every video, sharing every video, and those of you that are subscribed to the YouTube channel. The analytics love it. We do too. And who knows? It might save a life. Um, don't forget, Redeeming Eden is a non-profit ministry through International Gospel Outreach. That link is also in the Papa link. And you can go there and find out more about Redeeming Eden and about the Cody Jordan Forever Funeral Fund, which is a fund I started to help families that lose loved ones to addiction with paying funeral costs. So yeah, from here at the Bear Lodge Campground in the Black Hills National Forest with... Yeah, the elk boring. Yeah, there's a, like an elk or a mule deer or something bugling uh, all around us tonight. It's actually been pretty neat. And there's a night hawk flying around. Yeah, he, he's flying around right up here. Yeah. Cool stuff. <laughs> uh, either way... <laughs> um, we love you guys. Jesus loves you. We'll see you later. Have a good night.